Hello again, this is Spirit Animal VSOP, and I'm coming back at you with some liquor. Finally, I finally found something. It's been a while. Anyway, the store I go to a lot finally got something in. In fact, they got a few things in that uh, weren't too bad. They didn't get anything in the in the, in the Rome neighborhood. They, they're not doing anything there. But they got some bourbon in, some whiskey in. That was interesting. They did get some 792, 1792, um, what was it, uh, bottled and bond and uh, single barrel. I've had both of those before, and they're pretty good, right, right? And they had it for a decent price, but they had this other thing, this uh, this one that looked really interesting. It was a store pick, and uh, it was at a really good price. It's sixty five bucks, sixty four ninety nine, which I thought was decent for the age. But um, the seventeen ninety two, I almost got it, but you know, the last bottles I got, and that was a uh, like three four years ago, they did that trick where they put the back label on, and the inside of the label is black. So it, it makes the it makes the whiskey look darker than it actually is. That kind of irritated me. I don't understand why they got to do that. You know, I mean, I've got a few bottles like that, like like Eagle Rare Seventeen or uh, Eagle Rare Seventeen. Eagle Rare Ten did that. Um, the um, Stag Junior does that. All right, and there's a few others I've seen do that. I think that's a little that's uh, deceptive, if you know what I mean. Anyway, here's the bottle I'm talking about. It is Dickel. All right, single barrel. Now it says aged at least 15 years. Now I looked at the little thing they got on here and it says that it was bottled all the way back in 2006, March of 2006. So correct me if I'm wrong, it doesn't that make it 18 years old? <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping it's old. Anyway, 15 at least because you can't put a number on these bottles unless that's what it is or it's older. So uh, I'm going to open it up and see what's what. Because I like Dickel. A lot of people out there don't like Dickel. They think it, they, they say it tastes like Flintstone vitamins. I don't I don't even know what that tastes like. But uh, I've always liked the flavor. And um, I'm going to try this one right here. All right, let's see if we can get this thing open. See if it's not a mystery how to get this thing open. I think it's a mystery. But we're going to try. We're going to do something. There it is. All right. Okay, and it comes in, I tell you, it comes in at uh, 96.2, which I like. All right, that's in my range. So let's pop the top and see what's what, okay? Ooh, that sounds good. All right, let's bring on over my Eldorado rum glass. There it is. All right, let's pour a little bit in. Glug, 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 glug. That looks good. All right, got a little bit on my hand. Anyway, let's uh, wipe that up. Let's take a look at it. It's got a nice, uh, uh, somewhat darker color. You know, this one doesn't have that uh, label, the back label with the black on it, so they're not trying to trick you. And it's got a good um, dark tone to it, which I like, and which is usually indicative of uh, bourbons and whiskeys that have been sitting in the barrel for a while. And according to this, this has been sitting in there for 18 years, so looking pretty good. And I've already caught a whiff of it, which, uh, you know, I've been holding it here about a foot away from my face. And uh, I've already caught a whiff of it, and it's smelling pretty good. So let's go ahead and give it a sniffy. Oh, wow, that's got one interesting aroma right there. Strong mm, and full of all kinds of different things. All kinds of different things. You, you 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 smell the oak. You smell the caramel and vanilla, of course. But with uh, with Dickel, it comes across to me anyway more like a cherry and uh, fruit tones come through. Man, this one's really strong. Ooh, man, that is nice. Hmm, I really like that. All right. Now, let's do the one thing I didn't do, which all connoisseurs must do if you're going to drink a whiskey. You got to do the swirl. You got to get it going. All right, let's see if we can do that. There we go. Get that thing swirling. All right. Now, let's taste. Mmm. Wow. That is deep and rich in flavor. Really, really deep and rich. Mmm. Wow, that's nice. Plenty of um, of oak coming through, which is really nice. A burnt oak tone to it, but it's really it's really deep in that uh, the caramel and vanilla tones and the fruit tones. Hmm. Wow, that is really good. 
Well, that is nice. And for $65, too. All right. Now, I remember that uh, Proof and Wood came out with that uh, that one called The Justice, which they said they got from Tennessee and was 16 and 17 years old. And uh, when I tasted it, I was pretty much, you know, 100% that it came from Dickel. That was really good, you know, along that age front. But, uh, wow, this one's nice. Mmm. Mmm, wow. That is really, really nice. You know, and I, you know... Like I said, some people out there, Dickel just doesn't do it for them, right? Uh, you know, this this is a Tennessee whiskey, so it's got that that mineralization in the water, that charcoal tone, like um, like uh, Jack Daniels does. So it's not it's not you know it's it's different than what you get out of Kentucky and other places like Indiana. It's different. All right. And if you don't like it, you know, nothing I can do about it. So if you don't like Dickel, you probably aren't going to like this. But if you love Dickel, if you like the different things that they uh, they make, the different ages, you're really going to like this. This one's got all kinds of flavor. Man, it's good. Mm. Wow. That's, that's, that's Dickel on steroids right there. And what's really cool about it is when you take a sip, at least when I take a sip, is the aroma hits my nose first, right? And you get that sensation, and then you drink it, and that, they get the sensation from that. It's really, really nice. Man. Mmm. Wow. That's what I want when I drink a bourbon or any kind of whiskey. Tennessee whiskey, bourbon, whatever. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want depth. I want complexity, all right? And that's what I'm getting out of this. And I'm loving every second of it, all right? Now, if uh, you happen to find this anywhere, I don't know if you can, if they make this, uh, they probably make this just for, you know, regular retail sale. Like I said, this one's a store pick uh, from the store that I got it at. And um, I think they did a good job, all right? Whoever picked it, picked well. And they chose wisely, all right? So if you happen to see a 15 on your shelf and uh, they got it for a decent price and you like the flavor of dickel all right i think you'll really enjoy this anyway if you do happen to grab one i hope you love it and please drink responsibly all right bye